our time as software engineers has finally come to an end so this week cognition just released devin ai they have raised 21 million dollars in series a let's just look at what devin can do before we just dive into anything so devin can use unfamiliar technologies that means it doesn't have to take a month to learn a new programming language so i think that is one devin software engineers zero devin can build and deploy apps end to end so we can also do that as software engineers so that is devin two software engineers one devin can fix bugs can find and fix bugs in code bases i don't think there is an ai that was able to do that apart from uh, autonomous agents which you had to do a lot of programming so that you get to that so i think uh, devin three software engineers one we can also fix bugs but it takes time it can train its own it can fine tune and train its own ai models so devin four software engineers one it can also contribute to open source repositories we also can contribute but we don't like just being part of open source projects especially if you do not know where exactly that project is going so we let devin take that so devin five software engineers one so it can contribute to mature production repositories it can even take upwork jobs not quite sure but i think this is a good side as well if cognition is offering this software as a SaaS, you can pick this SaaS plug it into Upwork and then just uh, get yourself paid with Devin doing the work. However, the, the critical thing I want us to look at is Devin's performance compared to other um, uh, large language models. You can see Devin is at uh, 13.86, Cloud2 is at 4.8, Llama is at 3.97, and GPT-4 is at 1.74, GPT-3 0.52. So if this is a software engineer who can complete their tasks to 13 percent they can't really take your job because we software engineers do our job up to 80 95 percent so unless devin is able to meet that criteria we're still a long way from that but the thing i would like us to pick is two things one there are software engineers who have not yet embraced artificial intelligence those ones are going to get replaced and their jobs are going to get taken by people or software engineers who are using artificial intelligence because one software engineer with the artificial intelligence can be able to do a job that was being done by up to 10 software engineers so that is one thing you have to note and two the ability to create software as a service companies has become extremely easy because now we have tools like Devin, which can take up to a day or a few hours to come up with us software as a service solution. As much as it's only being able to do simple solutions like games, we all know once you start telling it to do something complicated, things start getting murky. But this is a good start for us. And of course, I don't think Devin will take our jobs, but in the next decade or in the next life, probably, they can try but for now let's watch as they burn 21 million dollars in series a